What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 19 in the Math 3 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us an equation, but it's a weird kind of equation where we have a variable inside an exponent, and we're supposed to solve that equation. Now, the big skill this is testing is using logarithms to solve these exponential equations. And the reason why we use logarithms to solve exponential equations is just like if I saw x plus 2 equals 4. I see that I'm adding, so I subtract. That's because adding and subtracting are opposites. If I saw x times 3 equals 9, I see times, so I would divide. In the same way, exponents and logarithms are mathematical opposites of each other. If I want to say that 2 to the third power equals 8, or if I want to say that log base 2 of 8 equals 3. These are two ways of saying the same idea, that 2 to the third power is 8. And I, and I need to use this idea that exponents and logarithms are opposites in the first step of my equation. So I'm going to erase everything, and then we'll go from there. Okay, here's my equation. Just had a Fresh Prince flashback. If I have a variable inside an exponent, then I want to do the same thing to both sides. I want to take the log of both sides. Now you may be thinking, all right, Mr. W, you just made this problem even more complicated. What on earth do I do now? Well, it's at this point that since we have a log that's eating this entire thing, I can actually use what I call the power tower property and say that this exponent, I can drag it all the way down here and multiply it by the log of nine, and it's actually going to equal the same thing. So that tells me that now I have negative 3x plus 2 times log 9 equals log 48. I'm trying to get x by itself, and I can see that it's multiplied by negative 3. We've got plus 2 with that, but this whole thing in parentheses is being multiplied by log 9. So I want to go ahead and divide by this log here, divide by log 9, divide by log 9. Let me scoot that up so you can see. Log 9 divided by log 9. I don't know exactly what this is, but the same number divided by itself is always going to cancel out or always come out to equal 1. And now I just need to figure out log 48 divided by log 9. If I can get that to maybe four decimal places, because that, that's how many decimal places all my answer choices are in, we should be okay. So log, my log button is down here. Log 48, I close my parentheses, I need to remember to do that, divided by log 9. This gets me, this gets me to 1.7619, because the 5 rounds up. So this equals 1.7619. And now, after all this clutter is gone, I'll see that I just have a two-step equation. Negative 3x plus 2 equals this. So let's go ahead and actually I'll rewrite this before starting the steps. Negative 3x plus 2 equals 1.7619. So now I want to get rid of my plus 2 by subtracting 2. So negative 3x equals, and then this junk, minus 2 is negative 0.2381. And now I just need to get rid of this negative 3 that I'm multiplying. So I divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 cancels. And then this monstrosity divided by negative 3 is 0 0.0794. And thank goodness that this matches my answer choice of A. So A is my answer.